He'll be making his 11th start this year. Swung on and missed. And the 2-2. Two -two. To center field. Greg Allen won't get there. He'll play it on a bounce. And Altuve has the Astros first hit. Five and one, a 186 ERA. Thinking Brantley could put it in play. He does not. And strike three called on a pitch that was off the plate. Jose Ramirez jumps on the ball. Deep right field. Springer's out of room. It's out of here. Two nothing Cleveland. Jose Ramirez jumped on that first pitch from Garrett Cole and rocks it out of here. His 15th home run of the season. Off speed pitch struck him out. That'll end the inning. And he's got a nice defensive play here, and he robs Yuli Gurriel of a potential hit. And he came right back with it. And the payoff pitch. And that's hit deep and down the line and gone. So the Astros come right back, get on the board. Fourth home run of the year for Max Stassi. And extends his hitting streak to five in a row. They answer, and, they, and it's something they've done all series long, Matt. You get to two strikes. He got back into the count. It was a 3 2 pitch. Swung out of miss. He just reared back and blew it by him. He's going to be like Kluber. He's going to be like Carrasco. They can put you away. Well, on this 3 2 pitch, Jason Kittness lines a single in the right center field. Second hit for the Indians and a one out base runner. Pulls it in the hole anyway. Kittness will go all the way to third. Greg's going to hit the bag and burn for second. And he'll go in there standing. Kittness is coming around to score. The relay throw is missed, and Kip gets in safely. Got the good curveball this time. He went fishing. And a 3 2. Swung on and missed. A couple of steps over to the alley. And down on strikes is Ramirez. Not an easy guy to strike out, but Garrett Cole. Indians uh, no slouch either. Tapper right back to Cole. Goes to second. There's one. And that double play will end the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Diving attempt by Lindor, but by the time he gets to his feet, the speedy Altuve has an infield single, his second hit of the day. He's out looking. And Garrett Cole has his fourth strikeout of the afternoon. Came right back with it. But I think a lot of that guys came from neither one of these guys wanting to talk about it once they got to the big leagues. You know, they, they got to a certain point. Find out on your own. He went too far that time, says first base up Bill Welke. And he got him looking. The 3-0. Swatted deep. Right center in the alley. Right at the base of the wall. Springer around third. He's headed for home. Here's the throw. Cut it. Oh, Not in man. time. And now the tying run gets to third. They got to cut that ball and go to third base. Swung out and missed. He struck him out on the ball in the dirt. Swung yes. out and missed. Hey, struck him out. And Yevon Gaddis goes down hacking. Yes, he did. The appeal. Hey, struck him out. A Baker's dozen for Bauer. And her Evan Marshall is called back. And a ground ball, single in the left field. Tying run, headed home. And he will score. Base hit, center field. That'll bring the go-ahead run home as Alex Bregman scores, and it's 4-3 Houston. Ground ball up the middle, and that's third. Around third, Altuve will score. He 
Yao Yonder Alonso with a base hit to center field. Jose Ramirez scores, and the Indians have two on with nobody out. And he lines it into right field. Ed Carnacio coming around third. He's going to score. Alonso goes to third. And now the tying run will indeed come to the plate here in the bottom of the ninth. One two pitch. Line base hit left field. Scoring is Alonso. Kipnis stops it second. Down on the count, one and two. Eric Gonzalez with an RBI single in a left field. Look Slap to left. And it's a base hit. Kipnis coming around third to be waved home. Here's the throw cut off. It's a one run game. That's what you do, Matt. You asked, and, that, and he showed you right there. Slap to left. Base hit. Coming around third. Eric Gonzalez with the tying run. He is saved. Michael Brantley. Dr. Smooth delivers in the clutch. And the Indians with a stunning rally here in the bottom of the ninth have tied it at eight. Not for the Indians' bullpen. They've been very, very good since. Until now. And Gaddis has just put Houston back in front. His second home run of the game. And his sixth of the year. And it's 9-8 Houston. Only one hit since his last one, but that is a big one right here. Solo shot. Yeah, put him into the bullpen, and now he's gone. Deep right field. Back and gone, and we are tied again. There goes the scoreless inning streak for Colin McHugh. And Yonder Alonso's 11th home run of the season has not in the game once again. How about that? And he's had problems spotting his fastball, so he's been going curveballs. He's had better. Got him looking. Tony Randazzo. But 0 for his last three. Sends one right field deep. It is gone to Souvenir City. Greg Allen's first home run of the year. Only his second in the majors. So much for the base hits. That caps what has to be one of the most improbable comebacks the Indians have had in a long, long time. Down 8-3 in the bottom of the ninth. They get up off the deck and rally for five runs on seven hits to tie the game and force extra innings. They go behind again in the 13th. Yonder Alonso ties it. And in the bottom of the 14th, Greg Allen with one career major league home run ties it up or puts the Indians uh, gives the Indians the win walks it off. I mean of all guys to hit it you, you he would be the last you think would hit that home run.